Hello and welcome to this mass spectroscopy multiple choice question. It's probably better suited to second year A-level chemists rather than first year level chemists, even though you cover mass spectroscopy for the first time in your A1 year. The reason for this is because some of the fragments in the choices that you're given are uh, more second year type structures as opposed to first year ones. So what I mean by that is this bit down here, CH3CO. This requires a bit of experience of second year aromatic chemistry to spot what's going on. But we'll come to that in a couple of minutes. So they want you to work out which ion is responsible for the peak with the greatest relative intensity. Obviously, it's this peak I've just pointed an arrow at. So looking closely at the mz value scale, you can see it's mz equals 43. So now let's have a look at the structure. And if we help to break it down into various sections by color coding, you can start to maybe visualize what fragments might or might not come off it. So our starting point has to be mz equals 43. If we take each fragment in turn and work out what its mz value is, I personally find the easiest way to do that is to just write it out using its molecular formula as opposed to its structural formula. So the two carbons are going to be 2 times 12, the four hydrons are going to be 4 times 1, and the one oxygen is going to be 16 times 1, which allows me to work out 44 as the mz value. Now you probably spotted that immediately that doesn't match the mz value for our peak, but I'm going to work it out for all of them in the same way, so then we can start to see if there are any we can eliminate, because there could be a bit of exam technique on offer here as well. Well, straight away you can see that A and B don't match that peak because they have the wrong mz values. So let's get rid of them and just process C and D. So getting rid of the color coding on our structures as well. Let's think about C first of all, CH32CH. Well, it matches something on the structure there, so that could be a possible candidate. So before we dismiss D out of turn, let's have a think about D as well. Well, to do that, we've got to look at the rest of the molecule. What other kind of fragments might we get? Well, this one doesn't really match CH3CO+, as there's too many carbon atoms in the fragment. So there's two, two carbons here, and there's only one carbon in this particular section of the molecule. Let's have a look at the other possibility, which is this part here. This time we've got too many hydrogens. We've got one, two, three, four. And in our option for D, we've only got three. So that's not going to work either. Now for the structure of D to work, we would have to have a C double bond O somewhere. So you have a methyl group, which is this part, and then the carbon is attached to another carbon, and that carbon has a double bond to an oxygen, so it has three bonds and therefore it gives the carbon a positive charge, such as the acyllium ion here. So this was the part I was talking about a little earlier. This ion is used in friedel crafts acylation, and it's an electrophile. So if you're a second-year chemist and you've done your aromatics, you'll recognize this as friedel crafts acylation. Not the question, obviously, but this particular ion that it's throwing at us. So that allows us to eliminate D, so the answer must be C. OK, hopefully this has been a useful look at one way you could problem solve your way through this question. As always, thanks for listening. Until next time, see you soon.